hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here you're welcome my name is Tola Fortunet and today we'll be taking you on a tour to the pixel lab yes I made a video earlier on my channel about five basic skills you can learn using your Android phone the link to this video is in your in this is in the description please go and check out that video I mentioned graphic design and I said I for one I'm a graphic designer and I use my phone to make most of my designs. So Pixel Lab is one of the easiest and friendly apps or software that you can use on your mobile phone to design beautiful and creative things to make creative designs. So I'm going to be introducing you to the app and now you can use it on your phone. You'll be seeing the features, how friendly the user interface is and you can from here go on to start and create your own design by yourself okay guys this is the picture lab you can actually be into you can leave it in your portrait orientation or you bring it to your landscape like this so it can be easier for you any anyone that is easier for you you can use it to edit your image you can use it to design your graphics your text and your drawing on your mobile phone and you can be making some cool cards from it if you have get get to get to have customers that will patronize you so it has a very good and handy skill for you to have you get that there are some things you just can do on your own using your android phone you can talk in this interface it's quite friendly and many things that even when looking at it you can understand some basic things you know okay this is what this is before these are the default text settings these are the icons for editing this is for zooming in and zooming out zooming in this is aligning this will help you in your layers and all of that so let's go in and see how we can explain each features okay we'll talk about text editing first if you want to edit a text in pixel lab you can come over here and click on text then you need this to come in or you click on this a button a this colon that has a and click on your text click on edit this has quite a number of features for you to see how you can edit your text so edit the text let's write edit our text and say i am i am unique okay so you've written i am unique as your text then you can edit your text align the text and move it with your hand or come here to click on put in a relative position you can add color to it you can add a color to it you can add color you can change your colors you can choose from variety of colors and click on different types of colors okay we have that then you can make it bold as in the style you can make it bold make it in italic or anyhow you want it to be you can rotate curve background just go on and see different different way you can manipulate this your text and walk around your text so you want it to be in a particular way you can add stroke to it you can add stroke to it then you can increase the stroke width just like that and even change the color of your stroke and all of that you can align the text with quite a number of text maybe text is voluminous then you can align the way you want it to be aligned you can add fonts there are fonts that actually follow this particular software on the app so if you see different fonts you can just check and click on okay this is what i want i want to choose this font but you can also download in and bring in your font i'll show you how to do that maybe some other time so this is the font to so change the font and that's how you can walk around your text in pixel app click on this icon check through different 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 selections you can do and edit this particular text and you have different styles in this section you can edit you can delete you can copy and you can change the position can reduce the opacity and add texture also you can give the text a particular background and make it a 3d text if you want to it has a 3d effect 3d effect 
okay we'll go to next thing is image editing first let's say we want to add, add a background to this particular i want to change this particular background so we come to the click on this icon and then let's make the background let's add color I want to add a particular color this is the gradient i need on that is already there or let's say we want to add this yeah this particular gradient has been made and edit the gradient and add your own or move the cursor like this and change the location or the angle of how the gradient is going to look like yes you can design your own gradient by yourself from the scratch okay so let's say this is how the gradient is now we have a background now don't forget just on this icon then you have different you can import your background from the gallery maybe you downloaded a fine picture come click on this icon and then you bring it from your gallery okay we now have a background okay we want to bring in an image then from our gallery we want to import an image from gallery then you click on this icon then going to come right here or you can go back and click on this plus icon and we come here from gallery then we go right here click on gallery let me get an image and just let's do this particular image right here the background has been removed already so you can change the dimension of the image right here how you want it to look or how you want it to fix so this is okay then click on this icon right here and then we brought down our image our image can be can be worked on it can be manipulated you can resize it you can change the position you can even erase something from your image you can add stroke right here then if it has a white background you can use this icon right erase color here to erase the background you can change the perspective perspective of the image and make it seem in another way then enable it right here and see how it looks and all of that can disable what you just did then had you can add shadow to the image you can see strobe you can add color filters the saturation the brightness the contrast to the image then you can change the position bring the position bring it to the middle bring it downward or anywhere you want to allow the image to be so we can just switch us to the image right here and continue with our design and add color effect to this particular image by this red color filters are like this and an effect depends on the image you're working on increase the saturation and we'll reduce the saturation reduce the brightness make it more brighter but the contrast in the image you can increase that or you can enable disable what you've just done how to add click on this color filters and then manipulate and just pose and work around it okay then we have different categories of effects and color adjustments which are right here you can reduce the opacity of the image and bring it so and then increase it also in the opacity you can add texture to the image yes you can add texture to an image you bring in an image can see add texture to it so our text also you can also add texture to our text you come right here add texture to the particular text and import your texture from your gallery and bring in the texture you want and then go on about that okay how do you add shape to your design you want to add the shape to the particular design or you want to even bring in this picture and put it in a shape in a particular shape so you can just bring in your shape with some shapes then tell us the radius in case you want to reduce the radius or you want another part another shape click on that icon you have different shapes that you can just go on for and just choose so we have this particular shape right here 
but to fill it with color you can fill it right here before you add whatever it is so we have the shape right here I want to have stroke I want the shape to have stroke I want to reduce the opacity I have different filters for this particular shape and all of that you can blur the radius of the stroke and so on you can change the stroke color and bring in another color for the for the shape this is how you bring in your shape and then you can adjust it okay and after bringing in your shapes these two the different shapes choose also the icon to manipulate and just suppose the, the you can change the position you can resize the shape and then bring it back bring it up and resize the shape to the ratio you want it to be you can reduce the opacity of the shape you can or you can decide to leave it you can rotate you have shadow you can give it a shadow or you give it an inner or you can give it an inner shadow and then enable the inner shadow you can increase the radius reduce it offset load the radius of the inner shadow and all of that just enable your editing and then go back and re-edit it if you want to change whatever okay that's how you add your shape then let's talk about how to customize your drawing tools so you can actually draw using this using your pixel lab and then you can increase your pen size you can increase the smoothness and then decide to fit the inside of your drawing so i want to make a drawing pen size has been increased and then the smoothness of the drawing so we can you can see a very good at drawing to your hand and find this very very useful okay then we go on to your layering and transparency layers is too very important if you are working you can click on this icon to check your layers so we have three layers we have apart from the background that was imported text layer in case you have many designs you are working on and you want to do want to touch a particular layer or don't to distort a particular layer so you can click on this icon to lock the particular layer you can edit the particular layer and then choose what you want to edit bring it to back bring it to front it is sitting on this layer now if it was behind if it was on top it would be on top of it so now we have brought it back to the front so you can actually return this layer to the back and edit it by putting it back at the back of this particular layer also this layer you can lock it you can make it invisible maybe you are still working i want to see how a particular design would be without a particular layer then you can make it invisible you can lock it locking is very important because you can be working with multiple layers at a time and then you can also merge layers together so you click on this icon if you want to merge two layers together you click on this particular layer and this layer so you merge it together using the you see are you sure you want to merge your object if you are sure you merge them but i'm not merging them also if you want to edit them also together you can actually do that put them in a particular location and then increase their size together you're editing them together without merging them you can actually do that then that's all about the layers layers are very important then you can go back here so how do you export or save your working pixel app it's also important for you to click on this icon yes this particular icon can show you your gallery how you can remove ads how you can how you share your <laughs> this layer also helps you to align see how you can align your work 
place here you can place your shapes and your text in a concise and a precise position yes yeah. then if you'd want to change the size of your you want to change the size of your design you want to increase the size you want to show full screen see what it looks you want to show your full screen then you want to use an image from camera from your gallery you want to show or bring in then you want you want to report or you want to have to do that you want to remove that yes because if your data is on and one thing about pixel app you can use it without your data if your data is on and you want to save an image you would probably see some ads then another thing is image size maybe you're working on it you're working on a uh, design and you want to change the size most times they give ratio one one ratio one so you can change your aspect ratio you can change the preset also just different precepts you have for youtube thumbnail you have for banner for a for your facebook app then for your youtube channel banner also if you want to use for your profile picture that's ratio 1.1 the custom one is 1.1 basically so that's where you edit your size the, edit the size of, of your image then let's say we want to export this, our image and that's now making the image visible a particular image visible let's make something out of it and then we can bring in right here and reduce the opacity of the image okay you can also work blocked that i'm clicking on the image nothing is happening because i've locked the image so i'll go to the layers then click on it i can start working on it without unlocking it or i can decide to unlock it and then continue working on it okay this particular image now you want to export it to your gallery so that you can have it on your phone so you click before you export it you can actually save this particular project maybe you are not done you want to add some things to it so you are still coming up with a particular design and you are busy you want to stop and then move on to other things because that's one of the advantages you can actually stop and continue when an inspiration come when you get to see what you want to work on and you need a material you want to go and download online so what you do is you just click on this save this memory icon then you have save as project so you save as project write the name of the project okay i am unique project or so then you click on done and you save it as a project so this will help you whenever you come whenever i come back to this app you open it again it will reset and then you find the project in this icon so this i am you need to find it here this is the list of projects i've done right here and i have saved them i saved them as projects some i get to export them some i'm not done I just leave them and then come back to continue but these are the some i've done and then i get to save them okay let's save as an image you can click on this icon again save as image you can save it as a jpeg and then default you can put it in your custom size medium you can choose whatever size you want it to be this is the width and this is the height then you can come again and then change the format to save to your gallery if you want to share immediately you can also share immediately so with just a summary of how you can actually find your way around the pixel app the pixel app is in user interface very friendly and there are different types of this particular software that will be available for you to use you can just go to google play and then download the app store you can also download thank you so much for watching this video see you in my next video don't forget to like this video share and subscribe to this channel bye